In this video, we will learn about steady heat conduction. To begin, let us consider steady one-dimensional heat conduction through a plane wall as illustrated. And we all know that the rate of heat conduction is given by the Fourier's law of conduction as described. K is thermal conductivity. A is the surface area of the wall perpendicular to the heat direction and delta T is the temperature gradient. Based on the Fourier's law, the K, A and delta T are proportional to the heat conduction rate. However, it is inversely proportional to thickness L. The rate of heat conduction and area A are constant. Therefore, the temperature gradient, dt over dx, is constant. This means temperature through the wall varies linearly with x. Under a steady condition, the temperature distribution in the wall is a straight line. If we rearrange equation 3, 3, it will yield equation 3, 4. In this equation, the term R subscripts wall is thermal resistance of the wall against conduction. By rearranging equation 3, 4 and solving for thermal resistance, it becomes equation 3, 5 as illustrated. If we notice, equation 3-4 is analogous to the relation for electric current flow as illustrated in the figure. I denotes electric current flow, V1 subtracts V2 represents the voltage difference across the resistance. Thus, the heat transfer rate through a layer corresponds to the electric current. The thermal resistance corresponds to electrical resistance. The temperature difference corresponds to the voltage difference across the layer. Consider convection heat transfer from a solid surface of area AS and temperature TS to a fluid whose temperature sufficiently far from the surface is T infinity. With a convection heat transfer coefficient H, Newton's law of cooling for convection heat transfer rate is expressed here. This equation can be rearranged as illustrated in equation 3.7. R subscripts convection denotes the thermal resistance of the surface against heat convection or simply the convection resistance of the surface. Note that when the convection heat transfer coefficient is substantial, in which H approaches infinity, the convection resistance becomes zero and surface temperature approximates fluid temperature, the surface offers no resistance to convection and thus it does not slow down the heat transfer process. This situation is approached in practice at surfaces where boiling and condensation occur. When a gas rounds the wall, the radiation effects, which we have ignored so far, can be significant and must be considered. The rate of radiation heat transfer is shown here. Epsilon is a surface of emissivity. A subscripts S is the surface area and T subscripts S is the surface temperature. The average surrounding surfaces temperature is denoted as T subscripts surrounding. 
both surface and surrounding surfaces temperatures must be in Kelvin. By rearranging this equation, we obtain the thermal resistance against radiation as illustrated.